Edgar Rice Burroughs inspired interplanetary adventure, the John Kirk of Ares series. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and uh, I'm going to do one more video of my own uh, writing, of which uh, the John Kirk of Ares series, five book series published by Wildside Press in uh, trade paperback, is uh, my uh, interpretation of John Carter of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs, and also of a little bit of a Star Trek. John Kirk is, um, appears in uh, the first book, The Winged Men. Winged Men, book number one in the series, with the cover art by Marcus Boas. On the back cover states some of the some about the story, which I'm going to tell you. He comes to Earth, I mean, he comes to Ares as a, uh, as a, as a mysterious traveler through space. Um, the character John Kirk is kind of my uh, John Kirk, John Carter of Mars, and Kirk, Captain Kirk of, of the Starship Enterprise. So it's like my two uh, science fiction heroes were kind of rolled into one in my own unique uh, take on them. Um, in this one, he, he meets, he comes to the planet Ares as a, uh, as a prisoner and a slave, frees himself, meets a princess, the lovely Sarah, and faces a world in a war with the hated winged men and defeats them. And that's the first book in the series. That was from uh, 2014, 138 pages, trade paperback. Second book is The Invisible Men. Uh, again, Marcus Boas cover art. Invisible warriors threaten the, uh, the freedom that John Kirk has, um, has um, uh, allowed uh, on the, inha the inhabitants of Ares. It's a, it's a warrior planet. Uh, with uh, strange uh, life forms, strange people, and uh, winged men or monsters that turn out to be alien to the planet and have conquered that planet and destroyed the uh, previously glorious civilization. Very similar to, to the John Carter stories. So uh, The Invisible Men was uh, from 2015. And... Um, that's 141 pages. The third book in, in the back cover is, uh, is here with, with blurbs by Richard Lupoff and um, John Norman, the uh, author of the Gore book series. And I'd just like to read one of uh, the John Norman quote is, I very much enjoyed this book. In my view, as intended, it has Burroughs vividness Look, sound, sentiment, honesty, directness, sweep, vigor, and appeal. But there is Lovisi here, too. It is a fresh country in its own right, and certainly one that Edgar Rice Burroughs and those fond of him, like myself, would recognize, find familiar, welcome, and relish. I bet Edgar Rice Burroughs would have liked it, too. That's John Norman, creator of the famous Gore book series. And the third book in the series is The Spacemen. Um, in this, John Kirk has freed Ares and freed the people of Ares from the notorious winged men. And turns out that a space threat, outer space threat, comes to, uh, comes to the planet Ares to, uh, to set back all of the progress that he's made. He's, he's freed the people that were enslaved and now a, a threat from outer space, uh, a, a higher technology is coming to, uh, to re-enslave the people and to bring back the winged men, which it turns out are cannibalistic, and that that's why they, they um, one of the reasons why they uh, keep the, uh, the, the people in Ares as slaves. So it's, uh, it's a kind of a brutal, brutal situation. In book number four, The Mind Masters, from 20... 17, 152 pages, trade paperback. Again, Marcus Boas has done all the cover art on these. The battle between John Kirk and the people of Ares grows as an alien empire 
that no one knew about with mind powers seeks to reconquer Ares. These people have great powers uh, that um, that uh, are, have actually uh, been lost to the people of Ares. And John Kirk is uh, being a, a human, an earther. Uh, uh, he's a Vietnam veteran who, uh, uh, during the war, was uh, transported mysteriously to the planet Ares for certain special reasons. And the books go in to explain all of that. And the Mind Masters is... Uh, just ratchets up the uh, the intensity, the, uh, the the science fictional and the fantastic elements of the story. The um, uh, Richard Lupoff, uh, who wrote uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs' Master of Adventure and Edgar Rice Burroughs and the Martian Vision, um, he uh, wrote a, a blurb for the book also, and he says it's been nearly a century since Edgar Rice Burroughs first enchanted readers with his tales of John Carter and Deja Thoris on the planet Barsoom. Since then, generations of writers have tried to recapture Burroughs' magic from Otis Alderbarth Klein and Robert E. Howard to Lee Braquette, Lynn Carter, Andre Norton, and a hundred more. Gary Lovisi adds his name to the list with the Wingmen, a marvelous romp that includes that updates Edgar Rice Burroughs' Confederate vet to John Kirk, an American apparently killed in Vietnam, only to find himself miraculously transported to the planet Ares. John Kirk's adventures among beautiful women, barbarous men, and cannibalistic aliens demonstrates all the heart of a true lover of the interplanetary romance and will surely delight readers with a yearning to escape the stress of modern civilization and travel to a world of action, intrigue, gallantry, and romance. Well, that was the, uh, the blurb uh, furnished by Richard A. Lupoff. Um, and the other thing about the books is their great maps. They have, well, first of all, they also have a list of all the characters in the series in each book. And this is a map of the known universe because you have Ares and the planets near Ares that are joined in the Confederation now, um, making their own empire to protect themselves. And the known universe is... Uh, there's a outside universe or an alternate universe where an entity is coming into that universe to conquer it. The maps are by Lucille Calley. She did a marvelous job on them. Beautiful, beautiful uh, space map. And she also did a map of Aries. The two continents. Beautiful. Very intricate. So all these books have these maps in them by Lucille Calley, and they're just terrific. They really, the maps really add a lot to the series. And um, the last book in the series is The Time Masters, book number five. Again, by Marcus Boas cover art, the back cover. It's... Uh, from 2017, 155 pages, an evil alien entity enters the known universe where Ares and Earth exist, and it seeks to conquer and absorb all the planets and worlds therein. Only John Kirk can fight and defeat this alien entity that has the powers of a, an extragalactic god. So it's unbelievable kind of uh, uh, galaxy-spanning, universe-spanning warfare uh, the uh, the battles in the uh, in the books take place with uh, mind powers, um, mind control techniques, and all kinds of uh, uh, mental uh, gymnastics that uh, fight fighting abilities, and also um, on a, on a uh, realistic level with uh, spaceships fleets of spaceships, hundreds and thousands of ships fighting terrific battles in, uh, in, in space. So there's a lot going on. John Kirk is, uh, has his hands full. He, he's trying to save his, his beloved Princess Sarah. He's trying to uh, free, keep the people of Ares free and, uh, and keep his world safe and sound. At the same time, he's uh, 
travels back to Earth and he sees that Earth is in peril because of all of these things that have been set in motion with this uh, galactic empire that had ruled uh, that area of known space. And now, uh, after a while, that empire is in conflict with a alien entity that's coming from another galaxy that believes it's a god and that is seeking to encompass everything and everyone. It's a, it's a, it's a wild romp, uh, space opera, uh, space battles, uh, betrayal, um, and everything you can think of thrown in. Uh, it's very much in the mode of John Carter of Mars, uh, the Gore books, and uh, all those kinds of books that I love to read and have read for, uh, you know, since I was a kid, uh, just terrific stuff. And I, I think that, uh, you know, these, uh, these five uh, John Carter Barry's books are pretty cool. And uh, just wanted to uh, clue you in on them. They're available the usual places, um, ABE, eBay, and uh, through my website. And if you like signed copies, those are available also. So um, just wanted to let you know about this series of science fiction, space opera, heroic fantasy. John Kirk is a real hero. Uh, he's a uh, honorable man. He's a person that cares about his uh, friends and family and his wife and everybody. And he's uh, a person that uh, has a lot of uh, good, good, good qualities that we like in the, in the heroes of old that uh, sometimes are sadly lacking today in a lot of the uh, more modern, uh, not even anti-hero stuff, but just a lot of, uh, a lot of junk that's out there. So uh, if you like uh, the old time stuff, pulp action adventure and uh, uh, action adventure science fiction, I think you'll like these. So give them a try and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and just look at uh, some of my own books that I've uh, published over the years in the science fiction area. And uh, I want to thank you for looking. If you like this, give us a like and a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks a lot for looking. I'm Gary Lovisi, and I'll see you next time.